Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dennis Barley at Barley Wellness here in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to talk about a problem that you may have in your wrist called carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is created when the tunnel collapses, that the, the eight bones in your wrist uh, called carpal bones are supported by something called the flexor retinaculum or a, a transverse ligament and the median nerve and there's an artery and vein that go through this tunnel. If the tunnel collapses, it can put pressure on that nerve. Who are most uh, susceptible or at high risk for carpal tunnel? Those are uh, desk workers, you know, people who are frequently on the computer, um, frequent typing, typing hours after hours, day after day, week after week, can cause re repetitious motion in that area, can cause uh, uh, some real uh, issues with the muscles of the forearm and also cause uh, problems in, with inflammation in the wrist. So proper desk ergonomics, or how you position yourself at the desk and uh, where your keyboard is, is vitally important. Uh, second group of people who may have uh, suffer from carpal, carpal tunnel syndrome are those meat and fish uh, processing workers. They're in a cold environment, they're lifting heavy, and many times holding, uh, holding things tightly uh, can create pressure again in, in and inflammation in the wrist, a pressure and, and overuse syndrome in the muscles, and then create inflammation in the wrist. That can create carpal tunnel. And then diabetics. Um, diabetes is a metabolic condition where there is a lot of inflammation. Many times that inflammation in the carpal tunnel will create uh, diabetic neuropathy. And so uh, that has to be uh, diagnosed and addressed. So those are three high risk groups that may suffer from carpal tunnel syndrome. And carpal tunnel syndrome, of course, is a burning, tingling, or numbness, weakness in the, the wrist, forearm, the hands.